A Visitation from Jesus I was in the presence of the Lord when my eyes opened in the Spirit. Spiritual things always happen so fast and there is no way of understanding them. Except by the Spirit of God. One minute, everything is normal and natural and the next minute, it's all spiritual. It was around 2 a.m. this morning when I was reading the word that I saw the Lord. He wanted to show me hell again as a reminder to the world. I saw the Lord but he did not go with me inside hell. He touched my shoulder and said to me, go and immediately, I found myself standing in hell. However, I saw three angels with me but they did not say anything and remained in mid-air. Everything that I saw shook me and was more real than ever. I saw the center of hell itself. This is where people who knew the Lord and turned away from him gate was so intense, so vigorous, and so severe. The lava was boiling severely and exploding. The devil is lying to so many people so that they can sleep spiritually. But the Lord keeps reminding us even as Peter said, you already know all this but I will not cease to remind you and to stir you up if the people needed to be stirred up, then that means they became like stagnant water. Things in the physical world we live in, the jobs and the activities we do daily have a habit of making us stop moving spiritually. At times, people become like stagnant water spiritually and so, they need to be stirred up that they may awake. We need to watch and pray that lest we fall into temptation. I saw in the flames, a 19-year-old girl. She was Spanish but American of nationality. She was screaming so horribly and she had worms in her mouth. She kept touching her face and saying they can't harm her face because she is full of the glory of God. The demons were laughing and mocking her and I saw a demon in form of a snake slide across her face enter through her mouth and out of her nose. The snake had two heads and each head came out of each nostril. It did this to prove that they could do anything they wanted to her. When this girl saw me, she started screaming out my name so that I could help her. I don't know how she knew my name but in the spirit, you just know some things. She said, I was an evangelist but I wanted to be holy and yet please the world at the same time and not be looked down on. I wanted to be cool among my friends even at school. So I made sure that all my dresses were knee length exactly and did not go not even slightly longer below my knees. So when I walk or sit, I was still not decent because I kept exposing my body and making men lust after me. I thought I could please God and yet also please my friends at the same time. But now that I am here I know that the Lord is holy and does not want people to play games with his word. He knew the motives of my heart and they were evil. He wants true holiness from the heart. Not people who cannot decide if they want to be holy or not. The Lord also gave prophetic messages about how he would use me. So I felt as if I was special and took him for granted. I thought I had a lot of time and if he told me to fix my life, I always said, I'll do it later, I still have a lot of time because of all the prophetic messages over my life. But death found me. Tell the people on earth that no one is special they can die anytime. Repent. After she had spoken, I saw a huge snake which looked like a python wrap itself around her stomach and pull her into the flames. I also noticed that her stomach was sunken and she looked terribly hungry. People in hell are hungry but they cannot have food. They are thirsty but cannot have water. They are tired but cannot sleep or even rest. I also saw another man in the center of hell and smoke was coming out of his body. He was also calling my name asking for help. I felt so sorry for all these people. They are human beings like anyone else but they made the wrong decisions on earth. I saw that this man called himself a Pentecostal prophet when he was on earth. He was in his early twenties but I saw that he slept with girls in his church and out of his church. He did not fear the Lord and even stood in front of the people prophesying and justifying himself as though he was righteous but doing secret deeds. He also developed pride because of his spiritual gift and liked to receive attention from men. Everyone in the center of hell was screaming and mourning terribly such that it was deafening. They all seemed to cry out with one voice, screaming the exact same thing, at the same second. The screams I heard were like that of a lot of nations. 
There was also a huge wind fanning the fire in hell and it sounded like a rushing waterfall. Some of them kept being picked up by this wind in the air like leaves but they were still on fire. Others were stuck in pits of lava and so on. This wind was making sure that the fire burnt more and more. The wind was also terribly hot. Hell is never full and eagerly keeps expanding itself according to Isaiah. The people were in billions, from all ages past till today. It was too frightening and yet still more people are willing to end up there, all for the love of this temporary world. They were too great a number and they were all deeply regretting, wishing for a second chance but it was too late. After I saw all this, one of the angels spoke to me. He said, Now that you have seen all this, sound a trumpet day and night. He who hears will be saved and he who rejects will have their portion with the sinners in hell. He gave me a golden trumpet and it was sparkling and polished. It looked small in his hands but when he gave it to me, I had to hold it with both hands. It was in the spirit and so in the physical realm, it simply means that I have to warn all people about hell. We have to be holy at all times. Denying Jesus is not just saying with your lips that you are not a Christian. It's also about how we live. The word says that these people profess me with their lips but by their works, they deny me. Even if you claim to believe in holiness but your life does not reflect that, you are denying Jesus and he will also deny you before the Father and the holy angels. The Bible says we are written epistles, read by all men. Does your life reflect the Bible or does it reflect the world? We should beware of the wrath of God. He is loving but he is also righteous and holy. The Lord does not show us hell to scare us but shows us hell to show us how much love he has for us. He has prepared so many wonderful things for us in heaven. He shows us what the devil wants for us and what he wants for us so that we can appreciate his mercy and choose life. When you hear his voice today, do not harden your heart. Today is the day of salvation. May none of us ever be one of those voices crying out for mercy. Let us be one of those voices shouting glory and honor to the King of Kings. Shalom.